Space Force was established by President Donald Trump after he learned of the existence of aliens and UFOs, one defense insider has astonishingly claimed. A former investigator for the British Ministry of Defense, Maud, Nick Pope, believes the controversial U.S. president set up the Space Force in case of an alien invasion. The Space Force is due to be created in 2020 so that the U.S. can have a dominance in Earth's orbit to fight against other nations, according to President Trump. President Trump says he wants to counter Russian and Chinese developments in space tech by implementing a state-of-the-art framework for space traffic management. A report from the U.S. Department of Defense says the Space Force would be to deter and if necessary degrade, deny, disrupt, destroy and manipulate adversary capabilities to protect U.S. interests, assets, and way of life. This would include anti-satellite weapons, communications jamming technologies, and enhancements to the U.S. radar and GPS systems. However, some believe that there is more to this and that the Space Force is actually being established after the controversial U.S. leader learned of otherworldly presences. Speaking to Sun Online, Mr. Pope said, There are conspiracy theories suggesting President Trump's plans for a Space Force reflect a need to protect Earth against hostile aliens. There were similar conspiracy theories about President Reagan's Star Wars plan. While there may not be an alien connection, President Trump surely knows all of America's UFO secrets, some of which were released earlier this year as part of the EATIP project, and this may have contributed to his keenness to develop a military space force. And of course he knows that the two key battle spaces in any future conflict are going to be cyberspace and outer space, so it's vitally important for the US to dominate those battle spaces. However, U.S. authorities remain adamant that the nation is only establishing a presence to gain superiority over other countries. Future wars will inevitably involve more high-tech weaponry and the country which can dominate space will not only have spacecraft in position ready for battle, but also satellites which can heavily influence fighting on the ground. Chief of Staff David Goldfein said at the Air Force Association's Winter Conference that it is only a matter of years before the U.S. is fighting from space. According to military news website Breaking Defense, Mr. Goldfein that the U.S. has to embrace space superiority with the same passion and sense of ownership as we apply to air superiority today. The U.S. is not the first to theorize about fighting wars from space. In fact, Adolf Hitler and the Nazis were designing a giant one-mile-wide sun gun that would orbit Earth and scorch cities. The technology would have worked similarly to a giant mirror that would reflect and concentrate the sun's rays and burn cities on Earth to a crisp. The satellite which was dubbed the Space Mirror had been planned to orbit the Earth 5,100 miles above the equator. The revelation was made in a 1945 article called Nazi Men of Science Seriously Planned to Use a Man-Made Satellite as a Weapon for Conquest in Life magazine. The article does say, however, whether the sun gun would have accomplished what they expected, however, is another matter. One of the main problems was that with technology at the time, there would not have been a rocket powerful enough to lift the weapon into space. But had the Nazis managed to get it into space, it would have been able to burn an enemy city to ashes or to boil part of an ocean.